Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm the manager of the Mud Shop in LA, and this is my model, Amy. For those of you who are Twilight fans, we're gonna recreate a new moon makeover. To achieve a fair porcelain look, I will use Mud's Highlight and Shadow Palette, a blend of DCL9 and Highlight. I'm going for a wash, so I'm using Mud's Face Primer to thin out the product. By dipping in the primer and base, it allows me to control the coverage. First, let's apply the base on the eyelids and set the makeup with zero loose powder. It will create a foundation for our eyeshadow. For sanitation, I shake the loose powder in the lid. The lid could later be cleaned with 99% alcohol. Never double dip. This is the 720 brush. It allows me to get right into the contour of her nose. Now we're gonna apply the eyeshadow. What I like to do is go lightest to darkest. So on her brow bone, we're gonna use her, the lightest color, which is the bone, using the 320 brush. And right here, right where her eye meets her nose, just to bring a little bit of highlight out. Remember, highlights pull things forward, shadows pull them back. We're gonna use a chamois right up here. We're gonna use that just above her contour. Remember, you wanna blend upwards using a circular motion, and that'll soften it up. Now it's time to smoke out the eye. We're gonna use our black onyx with the 350 brush. The 350 brush has shorter bristles and better payoff. For an intense application, use a stippling method just on the eyelid. This is Mud's Tinsel Eyeshadow. I'm using the 800 blending brush to soften the edge and to reflect light. Okay, we created the depth of the onyx on her lid. We're gonna use the 210 angle brush with the onyx just in the inner corner of her eyes. Drag it to about the middle of her iris. We're gonna use the same color onyx from the outer corner of the bottom lid. Drag it and meet it to the 210 right in the center of the iris. And we're gonna smoke downward. Good model. She's looking in the opposite direction. Blending is key to a smoky eye. And start her base foundation. Now what I'm doing is a really light wash with a light foundation. Uh, you want to choose a color that looks similar to porcelain because the vampires are very statuesque. While you're doing the base application, make sure you cover all areas that's gonna be seen. For a larger area, like her neck and chest, use a sponge to apply her foundation. If you're wearing something a little lower cut, make sure you bring that foundation down. In the books, vampires don't sweat, so you wanna make sure that all the product that you use has a matte finish. After you set the foundation with powder, I'm going to create a wonderful contour using a dual finish mineral powder, DFD2, and a 510 brush. Little goes a long way, so remember to build your color and not apply it a lot right from the beginning. And lightly brush it up. Now what we're going to do is just apply this just in the hairline. What it does is that you have a little bit of warmth in your hairline anyways, so it kind of just covers it. Blend upward, soft shadow. Okay, for those hard to reach areas, I'm gonna use the DFD2 with the 340 brush to contour her nose. Now noses are a little bit tricky. Make sure you build your color in your nose it's easier to blend out. I'm gonna use the black eye pencil to line her waterline, both top and bottom. Look down for me. Put the glue on the hand, make sure it has a little air so it gets a little tacky.
make sure they're shoved right under the lip. Sharpen your pencil so you can create a hair-like stroke to fill in your eyebrows. Amy has great shaped eyebrows. The toe pencil will help them show off. Now I'm going to use maple, which is like a light, warm brown color. And I'm just going to light her lips and fill them in. We want to have, we want to continue with a matte lip. Okay, now that we finished the new moon look, let's get into costume. 